Hi, it's Sarah from Youth Floral, and today I'm going to talk to you about floral foam and how to prep it for using in your DIY flower arrangements. So I have two different types of floral foam here. This green foam is the Oasis brand. It's sort of the traditional stuff that you're used to seeing. But I also thought I'd show you about this agro wool. So this is actually a biodegradable compostable product. It's made out of basalt and sucrose, and it is much more environmentally friendly than the traditional green floral foam. I prefer actually working with the green foam because I find that it's a lot easier to push the stems into. The agro wool tends to be a much more rigid medium and so you really need to push your stems in a lot harder and sometimes I find that they can break but it's obviously more environmentally friendly to have a compostable product so I mean you have to weigh sort of the pros and cons. But regardless of what product you use, you're gonna prep them the same way. So for supplies here, I've got a kitchen knife, a cutting board, and a bucket full of water. So I'm just gonna show you here on this traditional floral foam, and I'm going to use my knife to just cut off a piece of foam that I'm going to be using in an arrangement. And then what you do is you just place it on top of a bucket of water. Super critical to not push the foam into the water because it needs to be allowed to soak up the water on its own time period. If you push it, it will force the water through and it won't get into all the pores of the foam. It doesn't take very long for it to uptake the water. And then once it's done, you just lift it out and give it a little shake. Just to give you guys an idea of the difference, I'll show you the same process with the agro wool. Just dropping it down. It soaks a lot faster, so that's done. And then neither of them really drip once they're full of water. If you're putting this on somewhere where it's against like a wall or that sort of thing, uh, it might drip a little bit on your wall, so be careful of that, but, but they generally don't really drip. So now you can use these in your arrangements. You're gonna want to hydrate them right before you're doing your arrangements, like don't hydrate them and then two days later do your arrangement. You've got them now hydrated, you can put them into your vessel, put your flowers in them, and then you wanna put a little bit of water in the actual vessel just to make sure that the foam can keep soaking up the water. So hopefully that was helpful to let you guys know about how to use flora foam. Any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.